What's up, everybody? All of my beautiful Bravo lovers, so glad you've stopped by. We are talking about Erica Girardi, Erica Jane, Erica New, everything. Now, when I do my Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reviews, sometimes there's so much going on in the episode that I can't really dive deep into the legal issues. So I thought I'm going to make a separate video and we're going to talk about the latest bombshells that are dropped to keep you all in the know. So this is the latest of what's going on within the legal issues of Erica Girardi. The latest headline is, The Glam Cannot Be Supported by the Sham. Erica Jane is being sued for $25 million after allegedly knowing that Tom's law firm, Girardi Keys, funded her lifestyle for well over a decade. So the trustees overseeing the Tom Girardi case, they are now suing Erica Girardi. So in the legal documents filed by Los Angeles, the trustees overseeing the case involving Tom Girardi's law firm claim that the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Girardi knew that her expensive-to-be-me lifestyle was being paid by Tom's law firm, and they cite fraudulent transfer of assets. And they also say Erica had direct knowledge for well over 12 years that all of her expenses were being paid by the law firm, and she was the one generating these transfers of funds. Now, I knew that she was involved. I knew that she knew. That was my gut reaction. She's a very smart person. She's in control of her business. She knows what is going on. And I think that she had her hands in all of this. She knew what was going on in the law firm. She was making those funds transferred into her accounts. This is what this is saying, that she had direct knowledge for at least 12 years of all of her expenses being paid by Girardi's firm, and she was generating them. It also says, moreover, Erica has repeatedly contended it's expensive to be me. The document states adding the glam cannot be supported by the sham. Well, yeah, you can't live this lifestyle with money that doesn't belong to you. So documents were released with line items of everything being paid buy the money from the firm, including a $14 million American Express charge, as well as payments for her glam squad, dancers, traveling, clothes, purses, shoes, jewelry, and other lavish expenses. Tom Girardi was previously accused of embezzling millions of settlement money from burn victims, widows, orphans, and plane crash victims, and now he is said to be $101 million in debt. So, y'all, he's got no money. In July, though, Erica was accused of hiding assets, transferred, and owing the firm $25 million. So, documents filed last month in July for the bankruptcy trustee Ronald Richards claims that Erica has two businesses, EJ Global and Pretty Mess. And both of those businesses received jewelry and other luxury items, and they were purchased using funds belonging to Girardi Keys. They also say that Erica signed all of her tax returns, numerous credit card slips, and she was well aware of the money that she spent on the debtor's credit cards and the debtor's payment of her personal expenses. Her feigned willful blindness and ostrich approach to these expenses will do absolutely nothing to limit her liability. So she's out here claiming, I had no idea what was going on. I'm not involved. But here, these documents coming out are saying, oh, no, 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 sweetheart. You were involved. Here is the proof and we are going to show that you were involved and you knew and you signed your life away and made those transfers into your, these shell accounts to hide money away. So Richards said that his hope for this new filing would prove as a, a come to Jesus for Erica, if you will. He said, and I quote, the evidence is undeniable. 
We are hopeful that Miss Girardi comes down the mountain from a place of privilege and obscene wealth and return some of these expenses so the former clients and creditors of this law firm can mitigate the horrific and unfair losses perpetrated by her husband and others. We are hopeful she finds it a better path to resolve this matter without any further avoidance of her obligations to this estate instead of constantly draining estate resources with meritless legal positions and threats. No more investigation is needed to prove the money traveled in one direction to Erica Girardi. I knew that the money was going there, and I knew she was involved. And then the court ultimately ruled in favor of the creditors. Well, no duh. Ordering that Erica's accountant, Michael Ullman, divorce lawyer Larry Ginsburg, and landlord Benjamin turn over various key documents, including pay stubs, bank statements, and any emails and text messages pertaining to her finances. So there's a lot going on. So to recap, Erica is being sued for $25 million because $25 million was funneled into these shell accounts and she made these charges, made these payments, made these transfers, signed on the dotted line, and she knew what was going on. Also, it's reported that Tom Girardi now is living in a senior living facility among all of these legal issues. He has severe health, health issues and he was just recently disbarred so he is no longer allowed to practice law in the state of California. All of his possessions were auctioned off within the law firm. Everyone is trying to scrounge up all of the money that they can find to pay these victims their money and pay off all of these debts and erica it just seems like she is doing her best to paint herself into this innocent fawn in the woods as if i didn't know anything but y'all as sutton said in last week's episode when you make a deal with the devil the devil always comes knocking and this devil is pounding on the door and it is coming straight to erica what do y'all think of all of this bombshell news about the $25 million that Erica is being sued for? She has to pay the money. She has the money. Her husband doesn't have the money, but Erica still has income coming in, so she's got to fork over some of that money, and I think she is trying to stash it away. That's what we've got today. That's the latest Erica Girardi news. Comment below. What do y'all think? I'll chat with you guys next time. Bye.